Okay, welcome to uh, the session. So the session uh, today is going to be mainly, uh, at least we'll start with uh, the new tools that I've got added and new functionality, some changes have been there. So, so I'll uh, discuss uh, on that. So the first thing is uh, uh, this uh, FNA charts, this is going to be removed very soon. So this was the slightly advanced version where, uh, let me show it to you. Right. This is the existing version where you have these, all these charts. So, but we, we have had to remove all this because the price for this particular version has shot up. Like they have increased it, uh, tripled it uh, from this year onwards, and they are going to again double it next year. So we just can't afford it. So we are downgrading it downgrading this software so you will not be able to look at uh, something like this something like this you can't uh, do that where you also have this cur cursor automatic uh, synchronization and all that so that that is going to be missing unfortunately we have had to remove this so we are going to this version where watch list also is not there in this so what we have done is we have provided four charts. Uh, so, I mean, you can simulate something like that, that is there over there in the previous version, but uh, there is no synchronization. Each of these charts is independent. Uh, just a minute, just excuse me for a minute, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so this, uh, we have uh, added our own symbol uh, search and all that to this, uh, because now uh, this will make things a little bit easier. But uh, at the same time, since uh, the cursor synchronization is not there and watch list is not there, so, so some inconvenience is going to be there, but we are trying to minimize it use provide, by providing you custom lists. So you can build your lists uh, using uh, this feature here. Once you create your own symbol list, so they can uh, get populated over here. And then, so either you can select this or this for symbol selection, and then you can search the symbols over here. So say, suppose you click on all symbols, and you can select any symbol that you want. So say, so you can search this way. And you can uh, select whichever uh, symbol that you want. So most recent, uh, the upcoming expiries will get uh, shown over here. So it will be much more clearer for index uh, scripts. So you'll see the uh, latest uh, expiries over here. You also have list your own list. So uh, if you can, if you customize your list, then you can see only you'll see only those symbols over here. So this is there. And same for latest historical, all this is there uh, included in this. So if you want historical, you click historical. Then again, you can go and search here, Bank, Bank Nifty 2018, if you want, 18 is the one. So this year, if you want, it is 24, which so it's like that. 22, year 22, you want 22, 2022. 2022, January, you have this. So, so you can search over here. So once you, if you want to search for options, click options and again, same similar search here. So say options in 2021, Nifty say 21 uh, March, say uh, maybe 13,500 maybe. So this you'll get, you'll get all the, all the uh, expiries that are there in for Nifty in 2021 March. Just enter a strike here, and then you'll have all this. Or you can even say call. So all the strikes, four strikes in the month, you will get it over here. And then you can select this way. It's a little bit easier over here to search for symbols than the previous version. So this is Now the main, main thing to, very important thing to note here is going to be that whenever you are applying a symbol here, you need to select this light blue 
frame will be there over here, light blue here, frame that you see over here. So you have to select the particular chart and then go and change the symbol. If you don't do that, by default, only the first chart will be selected. If you have not selected anything like this, if you want to change over here, you click here and then you can change. Suppose you want to, you click here and only then you can change over here, say, yeah, this, I'll take this, so maybe. I click here, then this gets changed. This gets changed over here. So whichever this dark blue border that you see, that is the selected chart. You want to select this chart, go here and select this. Go here and select this. So this is a little bit tricky thing that is there because we could not do anything. See, if you click here inside the chart, it only selects this whatever indicators and all that is there over here, but it will not allow us to set these, uh, your selected symbol over here. So you have to select this over here and then change the symbol. So then it will get, get applied to this. So that is a little bit of tricky thing that is there in this, in this tool. And again, wherever you are in whichever chart you are, then whatever you do, and when you save, you have this chart should be selected. Now, when you have selected this chart, don't go and save here because it will not get saved. You have to, the selected chart that is there, only then you save here, it will get saved over here. All these settings, whatever you change. So I remove this, then I, automatically the save prompt is there over here. So as long as you are selected, only then you click here, save, it gets saved. But if you are if you have changed something like this over here, you have changed this, and then you click save, this will not get saved over here. So even, even though this save is gone here, it has not got saved actually. So that's the problem over here. You have to click here and only then save. So that's the important thing over here. So that's that's about uh, it for this tool. So this over here and on the options menu also, this both are same. We have just given this for convenience. So both of these are same and this is going to, this is going to go off. So this is going to get removed. This will not be there anymore. So we'll be switching to this. On the uh, style chart also has been changed to this over here. Style chart, you can, you can use these. So this also has been given. So this is going to go. Yeah, this one is going to be removed. This is the, oh, sorry, this, this one is going to be re removed. This is the old version. So this is the one you have to use right now. So this again, it's the same. You have to select over here, select over here, and only then change the straddle. Then it will get applied. And whatever you have to save also, make sure you are, you are doing all your changes in the selected window and then save it. Same thing over here also. Just select this chart and then do all the, all the changes, make all the changes. Changing the symbol or changing the indicator or something. So do it this way. And the rest of it is same as what you have over here in these title charts. We have just put everything over here. So you, exactly that you can apply it here. You can, you can view four charts, title charts at a time. So this is also exactly same function over here. All these, all these are going to be changed to trading new charts. So, and this will be moved to old versions. So this is going to happen very soon. Work is going on. So any questions? Okay. Yeah, Manas has asked a question. Uh, Daywise. Yeah, we'll discuss about uh, Daywise price and OI details and scripts in up and down. Trend. We'll, we'll discuss that. We'll discuss that shortly. Any any questions? Uh, or does anybody want me to explain it in Hindi? Just let me know. I'll explain. Any questions? None. Okay. No. Hello. Yeah. Okay. I just said no. Yeah. Yeah. I did not hear. What was your question? 
No, no, it was not a question. I just have no. There's no okay. Question. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Great. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let us go to the next tool that we added uh, because this is something that I want to discuss: uh, scripts in uptrends and downtrends. Okay. This. What we are doing is we have some algorithms that uh, we use for trend identification. So these are purely price based. So what the buildup and all that that you see here, OI, OI change, price change, buildup that you see over here and here, it's only for your display. So what all our uh, work behind this to display stocks that are scripts that are in trend is based on uh, uh, prices, how prices are trending in the last whatever number of days that you have selected. So last three days, whatever uh, trend is there. So we try to identify using some pattern matching and all that, all kinds of uh, computations that we do and we come up with a trend score. So it's based on that. So it's not related to build up. So it is very important. So you will see some other, you, see, you, you can see short build up here also. So, and it's still sh being shown in uh, scripts and uptrend because as you go down the list over here, the trend gets weaker, the uptrend gets weaker, even though it's uh, shown as it's in uptrend. So you need to stick to top, how many? 25. It says that bullish count is 25. So up to top 25, the strength is there in the stocks over here. Then beyond that, you'll get start getting sideways moves and all that. and. Uh, lots of things can be there or I mean it only it there might be few stocks over here which are showing as uptrend but what happens is if volatility increases in that then this trend score goes down so we also look at volatility over here and come up with this trend score so it is telling you if it is in the bottom but you see that it is a very in a very good trend it just means that there is something that is there uh, uh, on the volatility side and which is the reason why the trend score has gone down. So it's so as long as if you are especially if you are uh, trading positional, uh, three days, five days, fifteen days uh, trend, you are looking at it. Then try and make sure that you you are looking at the top ones only. Because in addition to to the actual price trend, even the volatility characteristics and all that they are uh, very good for uh, these these scripts. So it is very important for positional intraday. Fine, you you can you can go a little bit down also. It doesn't matter. So even though volatility may be high, could be a good thing. But uh, once you go positional, then you need to make sure that uh, it's not too volatile. So you can hold on if you are uh, uh, holding futures or maybe you have sold put option or whatever. Ideally, hopefully, it is hedged. So whatever you do, so once you are in positional, you need to control your risk properly. So uh, within this count, whatever this count is telling you, you it will be good if you can stay in that. In that also, you yeah, look at the top ones or somewhere over here. So that will be really good. And keep an eye on the count of bullish side versus bearish side, because what happens is once the trend starts to mature, and, and it goes sideways, you'll see that the count also will change dynamically. So then you have to keep an eye on that. And if uh, if this becomes uh, bullish count gets reduced and becomes and bearish count increases and they both becomes almost same. So it means that uh, the trend uptrend that was going on earlier has got matured. And same for downtrend. If downtrend is going on and this count is very high and this is low and now this starts increasing and this starts reducing, it means that the market is like going sideways and then there might be a trend reversal. So these counts are very important. So this, you can keep an eye on this also. And of course, uh, try and as much as possible, stick to something like you pick up something like this for intraday, obviously you'll use one day. Uh, for three days, seven days, depends on how much long a position you want to take and then how long you want to hold it. So if it is only a short swing trade, two, three, two, three days, then use this, five, six days, use this, and maybe eight days or more, seven, eight days or more, then try and use this. This will be very long, so changing of trend also is going to be slow. So you have to be, you have to be careful. So ideally, even for mid to long, since we are talking only about uh, monthly expiry, so at the most you might hold for say 20, 25 days, 
after that, you have to anyway close and roll over to the next month uh, expiry. So you'll probably be focusing more on uh, seven days if you're trading longer. But uh, yeah, you can take a look at 15 days also. Uh, one day is for intraday efforts. And when you look at this in the morning, one day, for example, when you when you're looking at it at 9.15, it is or 9.30, it is talking about the trend from previous day's morning 9.30 to today's 9.30, the current time. So it is one day means actually full one day. It is not like morning 9.15 to 9.30. It doesn't show you that. It takes into account the previous price trend. So it is looking at the previous day also. So similarly, three days is going to be from 9.30 today to yesterday, 9.30 is one day, then one day before that is two days, and the day before that is three days. So three days, actual three days, exact three days it takes and determines the trend. Same for this. So it actually uses these number of trades, those number of bars actually. So that is how this is. It is not going to use uh, half a day or, or three-fourth a day or anything like that. So, so for intraday, you'll be using one day. So once you have this, so then you can probably go and take a look at uh, if you want, you can if you want to focus on build up also, you can take a look at that and then decide and then go and take a look at the chart and then decide if you want to take the trade. For positional, you can take uh, you can trade uh, vertical spreads or uh, you can uh, use you can sell options with a and yeah, it, it, that is going to be same as uh, vertical spreads, great or debit spreads. Or you can buy futures or you can short futures. If you want to, if you want to focus, if you are, don't want to take that much risk, you can trade in the cash market for these stocks. Your trend, these trends are obviously going to be valid for cash stocks also. So you can, you can actually uh, probably, if you plan to do something like that, if you have a, stop short loss uh, sorry, short stop loss in mind you can you can take a look to say hold about five or eight scripts and then have a, a trailing stop loss or something like that to write the trend because these trends are supposed to continue in general trends will continue that is the premise of trend following so this is what this focuses on so you can take those trades hold those and have a trailing stop loss and then exit maybe something kind of a super trend or a Keltner channel. So once it breaks down below the lower channel, you can probably exit. And as long as it is going on, you can just follow the trend. So three days, seven days will work fine for that. 15 days, again, yeah, it worked perfectly for that. So it is for taking the trades ahead, taking positional trades and holding for many number of uh, days. Let me check, I, have, I see many questions in chat, so I'll, I'll just answer those. Uh, yeah, Jitendra ji, uh, you asked about, it will be live. This is about to what, Jitendra ji? It's about um, this uh, scripts in uptrend. Around, yeah, this is going to be live. This will update every every one minute. Yes, yes. This will update every uh, one minute. So it will be live. It's going to be. It can tell us uh, from first day of trend start. It yeah, Kuldeep ji, it will pick up the trends very well, especially if uh, if you are looking at three days, it will pick up the trend. But of course, see, it it will tell you very quickly. Uh, but the thing is, it is not important to catch the trend on the first day. See, uh, what I'm telling you is, this is this this is based on the trend following uh, system. So the idea is to uh, get on the well-established trends. So it may not be a good idea uh, to get on on the first day of a trend. So you need established trends where you can where you can actually ride the trend. So even if it is day one, day two, or day three, it is fine. Actually, if you're looking at seven days, even second, third day of a trend is fine. It can go on. So that is what I have seen. I've been looking at this because we have been testing this for a while. And you'll see that the trends just keep going on. So, uh, so you don't have to hop on the first uh, day of a trend, but yes, it it will catch quickly. It will show you the trends quickly. You can you can check. You can test it out. 
uh, how is that bullish table and bearish table are both side by side on the screen that they are one below. Uh, Manasji, are you? I think maybe your resolution is uh, different. Can you check what your resolution is? Because if the resolution is different, then it will probably it will. If you can uh, check, you can zoom. You can control minus if you hit on your browser. You can adjust the zoom, so that way it can fit in uh, uh, on a single screen. On mobile also, it will probably show you one below the other. But uh, on laptop, you can you should be able to arrange using Zoom, so it will depend. So let me know, let me know what your resolution is based on that. Probably I can tell you if there is some adjustment to be done. You can do it. Mm, for revision, Sir, please upload this. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll be uploading this too. Yes, I'll be uploading. Yesterday, last last time's webinar, what happened is there was a technical issue, so I don't upload. But this time, there should not be that issue, so I'll I'll be uploading this webinar, definitely. Uh, one person is asking, what is this bullish count and bearish count indicates? Uh, what are bearish side? See, as I, I as I explained, uh, bullish count. Uh, this 12 indicates that the top 12 scripts here are have the strongest trend, strongest trend. It's not that the other ones are not bullish. It's just that we classify these as good bullish, good bullish trends. Top 12, whatever this number is there. So 12 of those have good uptrends. Here, 27 of these have good downtrends. That is what this means. It doesn't mean that these will, will not have uh, these are not in uptrends, but if you you can go on the chart, we'll all, we'll also see a few charts over here. Uh, they may not be that great trends. They may be they may be turning down. They may be sideways. That kind of thing. So this top twelve will have good trends. So you one thing this is to tell you about the uh, day, how the day is going. So uh, bearish count of twenty seven means that there are a lot more strong downtrending strong uh, stocks for this day because this is one day. So there are a lot more downtrending stocks over here than there are bullish stocks. That is what this is. And whereas three days, if you see, so positionally, if you are looking at it, the, the trend is still bullish because 25 out of these are uh, bullish and only 12 over here are bearish. So it's like that. Bearish means strongly bearish. Here, strongly bullish. That is what this is. Again, all these are going to be bearish anyway. But there are some where it indicates long buildup and all that. This will be probably be in sideways mode or they were in downtrends based on three days, but they are now starting to turn up. So this could be possible reversals. Same on this side. This could be possible reversals over here. You can take a look. So if you're focusing on uptrends, focus on these. If you're focusing on downtrends, focus on these top ones, top ones. That is what I mean. Uh, yeah, sir. So, my uh, question here, sir. Yeah. So my question is, if at all you go to one day right now, mm. and you can see we have persistent there, right? Yeah. So I mean, right now, I mean, we are not sure at what time we got that at the top one, correct? Yeah. So yeah. what is the correct time to enter it? The next day morning or as soon as it comes there? When we trade for the intraday, so we, yeah, I mean, kind of close the trade before three thirty, right? Yeah. Any idea at what time we got the trade? I mean, is there any way to find out? We can back test. Uh, you can look at the previous day because the, before it comes here, it will probably be somewhere over here, and it'll keep climbing. So, but unless okay. I mean, it it suddenly breaks out or something like that, then it will suddenly appear. It is. You can take the trade as long as there is enough time for the close of the day. I mean, if you are a few hours away, then you can probably take it. Ideally, yeah. if you are looking at one day, focus it look at the scripts only in the morning, a uh, couple of hours in the morning, because then uh, after okay. that, it gets tricky, especially after one o'clock or so, it will probably get tricky because okay. you don't know how much time is there okay. remaining and okay. how will it trade. So what my question is, sir, as we have in the other tab, some beta, I forgot the name. So in that, we can adjust the time from 9.15 to 9.45, then again 9.45 to 9.30, so that we can catch the move at what time it, we got. Is it something yeah. we can in this, update it is, it is not possible in this because the way we compute, as I said, it is very different over here. We are doing 
pattern matching and all that. So uh, right. we need we need one day of data to properly identify a trend. So, okay. so that's the reason why the minimum this is there, and it's probably this may continue on the next day also. That is why it's it's designed using one whole day's data. So probably okay. you can buy today and sell tomorrow kind of stuff also can be done over here. So okay. you can experiment with that. So that's the whole uh, point of this. So it will be difficult to, uh, if we restrict it further, then we may not be able to match. If you only select, say, half an hour or one hour, so we may not be able to match uh, the trends and we may not be able to tell you what kind of a trend is really there because lots of stuff is checked actually. So okay. some statistical so, sir, stuff is there. Can you just walk, walk us through for any trade which we have picked recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. right, right. I'll, I'll, we'll, yes. we'll go through that next. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah. go through that next. Yeah, it looks a very good tool. Just we need to know how to use it. We have yeah, sure. everything actually. Yeah, sure, sure. Now I'll just answer whatever questions are there in the chat and then I'll go to the charts. So, sure, sure, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Chart again. And we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, okay. We know this again. Can you please show the option chart again where you were discussing before you start? Yeah, yeah. We know, I'll, we know that asked about uh, option charts. I'll, I'll go through that again. So, we'll do that. Um, can I follow this trend in script cache? Yeah, Prithvi, uh, Prithvi uh, Kumar Das. Uh, yes, as I said, cash market, you can you can use this for cash market. Because, uh, of course, we identify uh, the trend based on futures price, but it is perfectly valid. You, you can definitely trade in cash based on these trends. Especially if positional, you just take a look at it. this. I'll also... Tell you right now, it's going to be very good. It's going to be very good, especially three days, seven days. It's going to be really good for cash market trading. So if you are doing trend following kind of trades. So we'll, we'll discuss that. Uh, okay, sure. 80% Zoom work. Fine. Perfect. Uh, another question. What is the bullish count, bearish count? I've already discussed that. How is it that the bullish count? Okay, that is also done. Resolution. So one more thing, sir. In this back testing, we have till only April, right? For uh, for this one. Yeah, yeah. We need to actually generate the data because we the computations happen and pattern matching is done and all that. So we have, I have asked my team to slowly build up the data. So we'll try and do it quickly as soon as possible. So okay. we have to Thanks build the data. Answer. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Historical data. I'm finding current. Help us know. Yes, yes, yes. Going back in historical data and it will work. Yeah, we have limited data, as I was saying. Uh, so it will definitely, uh, uh, you'll be able to use it. Once we will build uh, from, at least for, for, from April, you can take a look and see, you'll get some ideas and we'll add more data. So give sort option on this. Sorting, we will not, it's not a good idea. I have, on purpose, I have not given sorting. You see, trend score is the main thing over here. It is very important for you to focus on these 16 scripts here. The rest of it, of course, you can take a look. If you want, if you're looking at some kind of mean reversion trades or that kind of stuff, or if you want reversal down, these might be reversing down. So that kind of thing. But uh, I don't want to give a sort option here because this is extremely important for what we are doing. So let me let me think about it. Add volume change. Fine, we'll I'll get volume change. We can add this. Yes, I'll get it added. That's fine. Okay, we'll go to the charts. Let me let me go to these charts over here. And what I'll do is I'll I'll stack tab by house and I'll and I'll tile this tile charts. Perfect. Let me change it to one over here. Okay, so here persistent. Uh, let us see for one day. One day first. Let us see. Uh, latest futures. Okay, let me do just for clarity and just go to five minutes. Now, what you can do is uh, for one day, when you're looking at one day, so uh, you morning, 
just say even even 9:15 after 9:15 tick this is valid because the whole idea is that uh, that these trends could continue i don't know say how much validity it's going to be there for one day but for positional the trends may continue for one day it may not continue so what you have to do is if you are looking at persistent over here in the morning you get this you see this in the morning even if it is there over here within the bullish count over here it's going to be valid and if you look at this script wait for something a break above whatever 15 minutes or whatever let me one minute up. let me put a session line so it is clear from where today's session starts where it is where is that session session indicator and it will from session breaks okay so here and this is start of the session so whatever you say 15 minute bar say 3 this is 5 minutes chart so three bars now since you are looking for bullish then let it break above this let it break and close above this then here probably you can go long with a stop loss maybe or below this low or below this low or whatever whether you are trading in futures or cash or you are selling puts or spread selling puts spreads whatever so you do it above this once you get a close about this or whatever so if you do it this way you will have i mean some because the idea is that uh, since you are looking at this, this is at this point early in the morning it is talking about the trend from here to here it is telling you that the trend score is very high for this that is it has been trending for a day from here to here it is talking about so there is a very good chance that this might go up but if it has to go up it has to break about today's high at least that is the minimum what else can you use you can use many thing you can use cpr you can use pivots you can use lot of lot of thing you can use previous days vwap today's vwap lots of ideas are there the most basic is going to be let it break at least the 15 minutes bar let it break and close above the 15 minutes bar then you can write the trend let's say apollo da apollo da apollo da same here 1 1 2 break above this and then trail trail in super trend whatever so see me See all the same. If market is going up, it's fine. And also, also before you do this, you have ten fifteen minutes anyway. If you are look waiting, going to wait for ten fifteen minutes, look at the market. Which side it is on? Look at the bullish count, bearish count score, and see which side the market is. Then, then decide if you want to go on both sides. If it is sideways or sixteen and twenty three is not one sided. Based on what you look at it in the morning, I don't know what it was in the morning. so if you see it is very close it is not too one sided you can one or two you can you can sell one or two you can buy so you, you can probably do that so you can take a look at that or if you see totally one sided market just just focus on one side then but whatever it is have some kind of indicator you wait for a 15 minute break either on the upside downside vwaps previous day vwap today's vwap camarilla pivots normal classic pivots whatever just add those indicators stay consistent stay consistent use the same thing use the same thing each day every day day in day out what is going to happen is things are going to fall in place if you do that consistency when you have consistency of process then things start will will start to work because everything that you do consistent i mean consistent in what how you are doing this one day you're going to trade one day or three days or what based on bullish count which stocks you are going to take and then how you are going to wait for breakouts or you are going to wait for indicator based signal whatever do everything consistently and for stocks and all that one point is uh, when you go into the last week of expiry just switch to the next expiry make sure you do that because otherwise then it, these the data won't make sense especially the build up and all that makes sense even the trend will still make sense but 
it's good to just go to the next uh, expiry because a lot of uh, OI data would have actually rolled over to the next and you'll have a lot of liquidity over there. So trends also will get indicated better over there because the price changes are going to be better over there. Now let us let, take a look at the few scripts over here below this, beyond this 16, what is that? Vipro. Trends are not going to be that strong. See, as you see, once you get here, even though the previous day trend was strong, it was it will probably check this pattern, check this pattern, and then it will tell you that the that the trend is not that strong. That is why its score is down. It's not somewhere over here. The patterns are not there. Basically, it's not able to. It's telling you that the trend is not as strong as this. It's just telling you that. So let us go some more down BDLs. BDL turned out to be quite okay, but because this, we are looking at it at 3.30, this part was sideways, so its ranking has gone down. Maybe BDL, maybe morning it was still okay, but probably you would have got better trades over here instead of over here. So that is what this means. Go further down over here. DIM. Same, like by the time your market flows here, it takes a look at this and then it tells you that the, the pattern, the price action is not that great. Even though probably morning, it might have told you that the trend is really good, but then the, it might have changed. You might have even maybe bought over here, but then you probably have got stopped out over here or whatever. If in morning, if this was on the top, but whatever, once the days go goes by, check throughout the day because the score will drop like anything. If the market goes, if the this particular script goes sideways, the score will be gone. It will just go down and the script will just fall like anything. It's not that it's going down, but it's even if it goes sideways, then this trend score will be gone. It will lose its trend score. So that's this. Uh, we'll go down and let us take this short build up on Indota. So now it's telling you that it's totally, it's totally sideways, basically. It's telling you that it's sideways. That is what this is. Once you go down, these stocks will be the strongest. Slowly, this is not too strong over here. It'll start going, uh, the trend will be really, uh, over, it'll lose the trend over here and you go to sideways over here. This will actually start to turn down probably. This is still sideways. All these are probably sideways. Let's check, check some more over here. Every time. Every time. Sideways over here by the end of the day sideways which will tell you that this is sideways so all these will be sideways let's go to this side prompt term. bearish bearish again what do you have to do again use some indicator or just three bars 15 minutes one two three after market open let this break down over here and then probably short here and then have stop loss over here and there's trade have a super trend or something like that and trail probably you can get out over here or whatever you want to take half profits over here and wait if it goes on further. It's up to you how you manage it. Again, same that is second like JK Cements. All these round trends. Now, here if it breaks to the upside, you're not going to take. I mean, if it has not broken to the upside over here. But you will not take because you are looking at the bearish scripts. This is supposed to be bearish. So you you only look for sell signals over here. The all these scripts you don't look at buy signals. So only even if it breaks out above this, you just ignore it. For buying, you are going to only focus on these, on these top ones. For selling, you are you are only going to focus on these. So it's that way. Now again, similarly, if you go go down over here. Say give me like BHEO. It'll go sideways, even though it's slightly supposed to go down over here. It is sideways mostly because the score is down. 
it's way far beyond 23 scripts. Top 23 will have good uh, trend action. Below that, it won't have much, that much better. TCS, down. It's like that. As you go down, it will start to go sideways. Over here, Tekken. It's sideways now. So gone sideways. And below this, at the bottom, you'll see this all green stuff. Let's say I take ITC. It'll probably start to go up slightly. It's still sideways. So all these are sideways. Sideways. All these are sideways. So same, same stuff. Strongest downtrends are going to be these. Now let us take a few examples of three days. This will have a better price action if you are going to trade positional. Now this let me go to 15 minutes. It was telling you, taking a look at the last three days and telling you that the trend is up. That is what this is telling you. Same, last three days trend. One, two, three, from here. From here. So it's taking a look at these and telling you. So three days, what it tells you is there is a very good chance that this might continue. This might continue. The trends might continue. That is what this says. So here also, what you have to do is you have to make sure if you're going to buy this positionally, wait, wait for, say, since you are going to go for, uh, so you hold it for a few days, so better wait for a hourly bar close. So four or 15 minute candles, let, let it break over. Let it break and prove itself that the trend is going to continue. Only then, like what you offer daily, you're waiting for say 15 minutes, five minute bars, three candles. So in this, wait for four candles, 15 minute bars. So there's first hour, let it break above first hour and close above uh, first hour. Only then if you uh, take then probably it will be better. So if you had probably you were looking at this, say maybe on this day, you could have bought it somewhere over here or, or on this day, you could have bought it somewhere. Something like that. And then you can continue for to hold for a few days. So all these will be strong uptrends based on last three days. And then these will be obviously you can take a look now. You can call it cat. You go for this, then you'll probably only be using options. You will not be able to use uh, Cash for shorting, we cash probably only on the long side. So three days, this is probably just turning down now. So polygap, one, two, and three. So it's telling you from here, the trend is down, down. What else? This way. This is, so this will be all strong down trends. Seven days. To be very similar, it says that India cements again same. So let us take a look at seven days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's again analyzing from here to here. It's telling you that it's in strong up. And generally, when it's we're continuing, the trend is continuing for seven days, it can actually go on, especially. What you can do is one good thing is you get up, if you see a pullback in the market and then the market probably looks like it is starting to go up at that point, if you look at these and then probably take positions in these and then have a trailing stop loss kind of thing, that is going to be very useful. And how do you determine when it is turning seven days, look at the bullish versus bearish count and then you can decide. This is sideways, more or less sideways. So currently telling you that slightly bullish. It is slightly bullish based on the past seven days. 
So slightly more bullish stocks are there than compared to bearish stock, almost sideways. Even in sideways, you're fine with trading bullish. So if you're going to stay in stronger, stronger stocks over here, top ones, so top 21, focus only on top 21 here, and then you can you can trade. Or if you're going to have some positional options, positions to the downside, you can you can take a look at these top 17 months over here. So that's the top. So any, any questions on this tool? Let me see in chat. Sir, can we check for any previous state? I mean, historical, can we back test for any talk or something like that? Yeah, sure. Let me see. How many days you want to look at? Say, let us check. Seven I mean, whichever you are comfortable, sir. Not particularly any three days or seven days. Whichever, if you, just to get an idea how it performed the next five days or three days, something okay. like that. Okay. Why isn't it getting data? Okay. 17th was holiday, sir. So that's why it's okay. Started. Yeah. So 18th is here. Yeah. So June expiry. So I need to select over here historical futures. OFSS. Okay, not much. Eighteenth over here. It's probably it won't get triggered on this day, but you'll probably buy on this day if the trend is continuing. So this anyway has not got triggered on eighteenth. Let me see Dixon. This got triggered over here. So you'll buy over here, probably depends where you want to have your stop loss on. You'll probably get uh, exit over here, somewhere over here, based on how far your stop loss is. I'll check this actually. Okay, this is futures. That's why ideally this should appear first, I get that check. This got probably, see this got triggered, but you'll get stopped out over here itself, somewhere over here itself, over here. This again, probably, yeah, you'll again get, get in enter here, you'll get stopped out. See, these these days were actually sideways days for stocks. Even though market index went up like anything, the stocks for stocks it was sideways to down edge all these days. So maybe that's the reason why this did not work that great. This worked fine. You probably will be holding this even now. You may be holding this even now. You enter over here, or maybe not over here, but you probably enter somewhere over here, maybe. And then you'll be holding it based on where your trailing stop losses. You'll exit it here. You probably you didn't get an entry here at all. So you know, probably you'll get an entry, but then you'll get stopped out the next day. So, yeah, it of course it, it, this will again depend on how the market was. Let me check how the market was. I remember stocks were down even though index was up. Yeah, 
yeah these days these days this was the problem probably whatever you have you have entered from say on 24th and all that would have been profitable but uh, from 18th that we are looking at it was sideways to down so this it may not have worked that way you would have got stopped out in most days if you want we can check on 24th you want to check on 24th onwards yeah this you would have we would have we'll check this but you would have probably have had to once you see uh, once you go to the end of the expiry and you see short covering everywhere it means that you need to move to next next expiry anyway we'll we'll check this chambal fund this did not work let me see next expiry just maybe just want to make sure it's not due to expiry no the trend was down for this mother son this would have what you would have entered over here and then probably exited maybe somewhere over here based on your stop same here you would have bought over here so you, you can check see again you you need to make sure uh, uh the market is going that side and whichever side the market is going you need to be on that side even if you are wrong because see 18th we saw that after that next 3 uh, 4 days market was sideways to down so those day you will get small stop losses will be there if you are trading in cash it's not a problem with futures of course uh, the losses can be a little bit more but uh, still controlled so should be should be fine i mean uh, i think you will get some very you will be able to catch some very good moves that is for sure when especially if you get the market moves even sideways to slightly up also it will if uh, index goes sideways to slightly up the stocks will actually take off so they'll be very very bullish so this this will work out that any any other day you want me to check any other Let me check the chat. Can we please? Can we please uh, add filters when NFT stocks, when NFT stocks, when NFT stocks? Can I just remove it? In this, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll I'll get it. Uh, I'll try and I'll try and get it. Shiva, it's a good idea. I'll get it. Uh, I'll talk to my team and give you the option of filtering these by NFT, fin NFT, bank NFT stocks, so you get an idea of the trend better. So we'll do that. and nagraj is asking about upload yeah will definitely definitely upload yeah yeah i have a question in this this trends for the uh, calculating based on the volatility also uh, Vol high volatility yeah yeah volatility also is there some uh, i mean what would it, if too much too much volatility is there especially both upside and downside then there is some penalty for that so the score will go down so if there are the trends are smooth uh, there is seven days then last uh, few days the uh, trends are smooth like this then that's the reason why it's coming up on the top so last seven days trend is smooth then it it should be fine if it's volatile then the trend score will go down and the some penalty is given because then it means that they could be topping out pattern may be coming if there is it's too volatile that kind of thing that's the reason why it goes if you see if you look at these scripts over somewhere at the bottom over here you'll see that a lot of volatility will be there even there might be few scripts over here which are actually going up but then they have got very volatile so the score will go down for for them so yeah volatility is a factor in this definitely for trend determination and what about the uh, uh, 
um, liquidity? Liquidity at the moment, stock? no. At the moment, liquidity, we are not looking at it. We'll try and uh, add some filters for that. So at the moment, liquidity is not there. It's only based on price characteristics right now. Okay, thanks. Yes. Yeah. Okay, any any other, any more examples you want me to take or how, is this clear? Anybody is it? Kuldeep is asking uh, this, this is possible, stock has uptrend in the near expiry bearish. Generally, generally it won't. I, mean, I don't remember seeing it. Maybe it may be there, but I'm really not sure. That's... So that's the reason why I was telling you if the like you are close to expiry, then just switch to the next one and just ideally take a look at that. It will be better. I don't know. I the, the difference may not be that much, but it's it can be there. So sir, the second column, which is the price chain. So it says 18.45% chumble fertilizer has went up in last seven days. Am yeah. I right? Yes, correct. Oh, Correct. Why change also last seven days? That is what this is indicating. That's why the percentages are very high. Okay. Yeah. So, sir, when we are using it for seven days, so if you just take an example of 24th or any day, so we, can we enter the next day morning or something like that when it, whenever it breaks or in the live market also we can enter? Live market also because this is live at the moment okay. uh, trend identification. From whatever point you are looking at, from there, seven okay. days back. So it, this is live. You can you can straight away enter kind of thing. Yeah. Ideally, uh, make sure the trend is on the price chart is on your side, the way I was, I was telling you, and then you, you can enter. Okay. But yeah, if you're looking at it uh, and following trends, you're somewhere over here, you can just, if you have a good, decent stop loss, okay. everything, have process in place, everything uh, written down or in your mind, concrete steps, where you will exit and all that. Once you have that, how will you will trail the stop and all that? That's it. You can you can take a look because the idea of all this is to be the trends are going to be persist. They are going to persist, so trend will remain for some time. So you can probably hold for next uh, few days, couple of days until at least the market is in the same direction. So, so trading uh, chart be live chalega. Uh, live, chart live, live, lagging rega. Uh, ye to hamara hi data hai to ye lag to rahega isme 1 minute 30 second ka lag to rahega hamara real time nahi hai data hamare paas pura data 1 minute 30 seconds delay rahega okay sir some questions in the chat let me take take a look uh nagraj आप फिल्टर यहां पे कर लीजिए चार्ट आप, आप आपके टर्मिनल पे आजकल तो सब टर्मिनल पे मिल जाता है कोई भी ब्रोकरेज वेबसाइट पे आपको लाइव चार्ट मिल जाता है और रियल टाइम अगर चाहिए तो वहां पे देख लीजिए स्पेशली अगर आप वन डे का देख रहे हैं तो ही फिर आपको रियल टाइम चार्ट लगेगा ये पोजिशनल के लिए आपको नहीं लगेगा उतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है ये डील पंद्रह मिनट का चार्ट आप देखेंगे तो उसमें जरूरी नहीं है कि आप, आपको रियल टाइम चार्ट चाहिए वहां पर Uh, some more questions did you happen to get? Uh, DBF. Sir, as of now, you have done this only for scripts, right? Not for indexes. If you can index also, it will be better, sir. Index will be index script. Index also are there. Really. Oh, index is also. Yeah, they're oh, there. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Yes, one question in chat. Uh, for Monday, BL can be. Uh, one minute. Uh, there's one question here. Uh, uh, for Monday, BL can be good for upside. Take example of this uh, reversal kind of thing. Uh, let me take a look. BL for Monday. Let me check latest. One day. 
BL. Reversal up. So I'm not sure where did you get BL from? We were asked about it. Okay. Yeah, but at least this will not get identified on the, uh, because we are identifying trends over here. So it will be somewhere over here. BL. It's going to be somewhere at the bottom over here. See here. Because the trend is changing. It's in a downtrend, but it is at the bottom. So this is probably a reverse. Yes. This is what these are going to be possible reversal stocks over here. Reversing from downtrend to uptrend. Maybe possible. It's possible. But this is, I mean, what we are showing is like, which are already in uptrend or downtrend. So where you want to take positional or that kind of thing, or you want to, for intraday, you want to start in the morning. So that those kind of things you can take a look. You can, of course, it's up to you to look at these kind of stocks for reversal, possible reversals to upside. And these kind of stocks for possible reversal to the downside. So, for example, Gale, uh, possible reversal to the downside is being indicated. Yeah, it's just sideways. It's basically in uptrends list, but it's it's gone sideways, so if it's breakdown, maybe breaks down over below this, then it's going to be a downtrend. So that is what this is. Could be reversal. Yeah. Okay, any more any more questions about this? Do, do we have problems? Sorry, I didn't. Your voice is not clear. Yeah, I was traveling. Apologies for that. I was asking regarding uh, do we have any uh, like data from the commodity market? Commodity market uh, data is not there in our regular website. It's not there in regular website. We are. Uh, oh, one minute. Let me show you that. Let me untie this. Sorry, one minute. See here, here you will have uh, commodity data, but this is available only via broker login. Currently only Trade Genie broker is there. We are adding other brokers. So only over here it is available, but uh, for now the brokerage options are limited. So we'll be adding few more brokers and after that you may Able to, or if you have Trade Genie account, then whoever has, they can log in and check these tools uh, for commodity data. So we'll okay. be adding other Thank brokers. You. Yeah. Thank you, Satish. Yeah. So, yeah. So, is this clear now? So, what other questions? Any other tools you want me to discuss? Yeah, Nagraj had a question about uh, extrinsic and intrinsic uh, value in premium decay. No, I still don't have much information on this. Analyzing using extrinsic and intrinsic value. So it's, so I, have, I have no extra information about this, so I can't share anything. Right? Yeah. Well, this is like uh, sir, uh, hi, sir. Uh, one yeah. question I have. Yes. Okay. So, uh, in our, uh, you know, uh, application, can we do uh, a straddle chart along with the put and call together? I mean, to three charts in one go. Uh, and here you have this straddle watch is there. Uh, straddle watch is there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, but, uh, but I want to see that. See, currently we have that... Uh, uh, generally, there is a one option where we can see that put and call together. So can I want you, to see what, that. Just strategy. one minute. Whoever, whoever else is there, can you please mute yourself? Whoever is not asking questions, kindly mute. Yes. Yeah, tell me. Sir. So, uh, so you got my point, sir. So yes, there yes, is it. Uh, so would like to see that uh, uh, the straddle chart one window, the put and call the same. The, in the same view also. So that will be know that, you know what exactly happening on that particular strategy. Okay, you know? okay. What you can do is if you wait for some time, the work is going on to add uh, call and put price in this, in okay. this strategy. 
So here, but of course, it will not be side by side. Here itself, uh, call and put prices will be there along with straddle price. So you'll be able to add indicator like you'll have call price and put price over here. So you can add indicators, they'll get added below. You can move them to the chart. And then all three, you can monitor here itself. Oh, okay. On the straddle chart itself, we can we can able to see that, right? Yes, yes. So, so okay. next update, it's we are working on it right now. So it should be coming up uh, pretty soon, maybe one week or so. Yeah, the current, uh, okay. I think that would be good. Oh. The one challenge what I'm facing in the current uh, straddle watch, you can't hmm. able to see that uh, the prices in a proper way. No, the call yeah. and put are very small. Yes, know? very true. Yes, yes. Correct. So that that is that is a one challenge actually. Yeah. Or what you can do is you can for now, until that time you can plot in this you can plot straddle over here. So you can plot it this way uh, over here and here you can plot uh, options. Probably both the options in same. I don't know. If it work or not. I have to check. No, I don't think it will work. Yeah. No. Even I tried. But one yeah. thing is very nice in our that you know price versus why okay yeah that side by side so i would like to have that side by side along with the straddle chart straddle chart okay so that will give you that you know the clear picture on that particular uh, straddle yes you know, as, especially that will work on uh, on you know, expiries you know yes yes very true yes so so you know if, if possible probably the price versus why yes. chart along with the straddle you know, three three charts, that would be nice. And okay, that would be a little bit tricky. So let me think about it. Let me think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So in the previous chart, premium DK1, I have one question, sir. Yeah. Premium DK1, yeah. So here, sir, if you see, since morning 9.30, at mm -hmm. around 11.15, we have a big kind of green, right? At around 11.15. Yes. Yeah, the market was in the range bond and at around, yeah, 11, 15, 11, 17 year. Yes. This is a big can, kind of. So that says, I mean, all of a sudden it has rise, right, sir? Yeah. So it became extremely bearish at that point of time? Yeah, probably it just broke down. I mean, this was, see, market was sideways. Let me see, look at the price itself. So we yeah, let's see. Market was sideways over here, and then it just broke down over here. That is when it shot up like this. Over here. So it was. So this is what is that point over here. From that point, it was bearish. That is what this. Is. How did you add price in? I mean, just. Uh, you you just remove. Point. You just remove the price change. Okay. okay. Just remove the price change. If you click okay. pri price price change, then this oh. this fair price line also will be the change in the price of fair price. Okay, okay. it's like that. So for bullish, uh, it should be always above, right, sir? Above the fair price. Yeah, this red line should go above fair price and zero fair price, both. And yeah. zero for bullish. Yeah, okay. for bullish. Okay. So right now in this chart, sir, what I can understand is after eleven fifteen or somewhere around, it became bearish. Correct. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Then again at around some two o'clock, we got a chance to enter again because again it uh, the exactly. Call, yeah. Correct. Correct. At two ten. So yeah. There was a chance again. Right. Yeah. Because Correct. it was coming near to zero. Yes. From almost yes. thousand, it came near to zero. But I yes. think here we are selected only five. So what is the right sir? We can select five or it is kind of. Uh. Ideally, five is better. For five, uh, if you select five, the thing is, you can, uh, this price going above uh, this price and all that, those kind of checks you can do. Because once you start going uh, this above, I mean, too many, if you select too many strikes, then uh, these checks will not work because uh, the price of those options uh, is going to be, uh, could be large. I mean, in this case, it has worked because the, it was too bearish, but on a few days, you you see that uh, if you increase even beyond seven or nine strikes, then uh, this action may not be that proper. Okay. So Got five it. to seven, five to nine is also fine action. Okay. Yeah, that should be more than enough in any case. Even if you increase more, uh, this may not change that much any base. Oh. Yeah. 
sir one question on the same uh, screen um, yeah. see the center strike when we need to change i i, I mean to say for example you know bank nifty nowadays it's moving you know average 300 to 800 points right so yeah uh the center strike when we need to change from the start of the day yeah first thing is uh, at start of the day just uncheck this and check what is the fair price over here and keep that as the center strike over here after mm -hmm. that uh wait for uh, i feel a significant movement like if you are saying 400 500 points minimum only then you, if you adjust i mean even if you don't adjust it's fine it's just that if you want to catch reversals then probably at that when it has really taken off and it has moved significantly more at that point, you can set it back to whatever the market, wherever it is at that point. At the nearest ATM strike, you can select that. So you can set that over here. And so, But it has to move significantly more. Otherwise, it won't make sense. I mean, it, there won't be much difference, actually. Only if you move, uh, if it moves much only, then we'll let, let us see over here. Maybe we change it somewhere over here. Say 52.6. 52.6 is only about 400 points. 400, 500 points probably we can say. Let us say 52.6. So we move it over here. We move it 52.6 and change this. Not much difference is there if you see. It doesn't matter actually. So only if it really changes a lot more, maybe 600, 800 points, probably it will make difference. But even otherwise, your signals are going to be very similar. It will not matter. Most days, it won't matter, actually. Most days, right. if it doesn't move, say, 600, 800 points, then it won't even, you don't have to change. Even here, there is no change of signal, even after we change. Even after we go maybe a little bit more. So even then, it is not, not much. I mean, this has to go below this and all that. That kind of, only then there is some kind of, it will indicate a sideways move. It's not even indicating a sideways move. Even when we change 600 points, adjustment is done, even then. So, may not, does not require much actually. That is the thing. Got it. Okay. Uh, so any improvements are coming? Uh, uh, one question, sir, last. Yeah. Any improvements yeah. coming on the spread charts? Uh, I mean, are we going to introduce anything on the spread charts? Spread charts are, uh, work is going on to move them to trading view, this like this. So that okay. will that will be done, uh, and no other no other change is there because you can I mean the functionality there is nothing else to add there. So so this is going to come. I mean they are being moved from the regular charts. All all right. these are going to be changed to trading view charts. So okay. Any twenty two days days, sir? I mean I mean next one month, two months, or will it yeah, probably a... spread charts might come out in uh, the next two three weeks. Because work oh, is going on already. So, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Sir, so one question, sir. If you see yeah. this chart from mm -hmm. morning nine thirty or morning opening nine fifteen mm -hmm. till eleven o'clock, so we are not coming to any conclusion, right, sir? It is kind of sideways. I mean, yes. You... One minute. Yeah. There is. There is no. There is no conclusion. Basically. I mean, just open from nine fifteen to yeah, yeah, yeah. So here at around nine thirty, sir, it suddenly spiked. Yeah, so yeah. Bearish. Yes. Yes. So and from it, here it's gone bullish over here. Bullish. It is above yeah. zero and this one then again. Yeah. So after how here to make a conclusion on such days, sir. That was my one question, sir. Is it kind of something it has to go above two hundred value that I've I've tried, looked at that. I didn't find any significant or clear cut answer for that because basically it has broken down over here. At uh, yeah, 9, low, 9.30. Low was also broken and yeah, high was also broken. And here high also. So not, nothing yeah. can be done actually. These are clear uh, price change signals. So these just have to be taken with a stop loss and stop loss has to be taken if you are trading. So okay. that nothing so, sir, nothing I mean, much my, can my, be. My, my question was, sir, I mean, yeah, what you said, you had answered it. But my yeah. question was, can we add something like this? I mean... Let me check. I, last time I uh, explained that you can... Uh, at total PCOI. Mm -hmm. What is this? The same day, right? We are talking about the same day. 
morning. It's just saying it's bearish and then the, it's bearish throughout actually. All strikes for all strikes. It has not given the bullish signal at all actually. So see, there's, there's no bullish signal at all. It's bearish from the beginning using few look at total PEC or it's confirmation came only at 1120, but it has been indicating bearish based on the Y changes. So this this uh, breakout that was there was not confirmed. This this it was uh, anyway saying that it is bearish, but uh, this breakout to the upside was not confirmed by this two. So that's so you can have some kind of uh, confirmation. You can also check. I don't know, but this may not tell you, but let me check this also. Voice oh, that's beta, bank nifty. What time was that? Uh, One was at 9.30. So 9.30, this will not give you much indication because this is still getting built up. So I like to look at 30, 30 minutes minimum. Here also, nothing, nothing clear cut actually at 9.45, even in these two. Was it in 9.45 or what was that? At 9.40. 940, there was nothing, nothing, not clear here also. So this tool, it's not clear here. It's not confirming bullish signal. So it's like that. So you need to look at other tools also to try and confirm this. But I don't know if number of points and all that, this is going to be, this is going to vary each day. So you, it is best you not fix this. This also depends on how many strikes you have selected. So number Correct. of points you can't rely on this at all. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, in total P minus C, you are told that it was still bearish. On what basis, sir? I did not catch that. This difference, difference of P minus C UI change. This this red oh, it shows that negative. That is bearish. Okay. Yeah. And this is if you have selected all strikes. Okay. All strikes, three minutes, all strikes. Okay. So then whatever this tells you initially, generally. You can go with this, then mm -hmm. also confirm with price. Okay, so, got it. Yeah. Okay, sir, thank you. Okay, yeah. Uh, sir, uh, sir, 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 this is one question. Sir, sir. Ye jo humne OTM, ITM wala option diya hai na, kis audio button. Iska, iska kya significance, sir? Which one we have to select? Generally, generally, all ek minute, I was OTM se dikha raha tha. It may be same hai. Generally, OTM jo hota hai, aapko indication slightly better dega. So, lekin kuch log kehte hai ke in the money better hota hai. To... Lekin ye jab aap select karenge na, to aapko thoda careful rehna padega. Sirf latest wala dekhna. Aap live agar market mein check kar rahe, to hi fir OTM use ki ji. OTM ya in the money. OTM generally better hota hai. Kyunki OTM uh, ka jo why hota hai wo bahut jald change ho jata hai usme hi build up zyada hota hai to indications wahan pe mil sakte hain in the money kuch log in the money ko mante hain kyunki india money in the money ka hua risk mein bahut jaldi aaya hai market move hua to bas jald in the money sabse fast uh, risk mein aa jata hai wo already risk risky hota hai kyunki already in the money hai to wahan pe why change aapko shayad faster dikhe to ab ye dono check karke dekhiye mujhe lagta hai otm Indication better dikha sakta hai, mere hisab se. Lekin ye aap agar use karenge, to fir aap koi backtesting wagara mat ki jiye, ye use karke. Abhi aap, aaj agar aap baitke dekh rahe hai market, piche ja ke kuch dinon ka, to ye OTM dekhenge to pata nahi chalega. Kyunki ye, ye sirf aapko latest jo chal raha hai, latest, sirf usi ke baare mein aapko. All select karenge, to fir thik hai, fir aap pura dekh sakte hai. Ye OTM ya ITM, ye sirf latest, आपको लेटेस्ट के बारे में बताता है 
तो लास्ट लेटेस्ट इंटरवेल टाइम इंटरवेल चल रहा है तो लाइव मार्केट में जो भी सबसे ऊपर वाला होता है लेटेस्ट टाइम वाला वो आप देख सकते हैं जब आप ये ये सेलेक्ट करें और ये और ये ये और ये ऐड करेंगे तो आपको ये आए ये ये जो है बस इसका डिफरेंस ये है तो इसको ऐड करेंगे तो यही आएगा ओके राइट सर वन क्वेश्चन ऑन द चार्ट कैन यू गो टू दैट चार्ट वंस या सो हियर जनरली वी लुक एट द पीसीआर ओआई राइट सो द पीसीआर वॉल्यूम विल टेल द एग्रेसिवनेस ऑफ दैट पीसीआर पीसीआर वॉल्यूम I have not found uh, much use of that because uh, the, you mean this one? Yeah, no, 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 the PCR volume. Okay, PCR of volume. PCR I... OI versus PCR volume. Can you enable that? P... Ah, PCR just OI. disable that OI. Ah, or you can have that OI change difference also. Uh, for now, just you know, uh, disable all this, these this. other things. Okay. Right. Even OI. Ah, okay. So the moment when you look at that PCR volume, that already it is going trend down right in the morning mm-hmm. yeah. so if i compare with that pcr volume will it tell that the aggression of is ness of the top pcr going down is i did not I... find any consistent uh, explanation for this because see then how do you reconcile this i mean it has been going up from here but this has not changed much of course this has gone flat I don't know. I mean, I've I've not looked at this much, and I don't use this volume. PCR got volume. I, we got added it because lots of people requested it. But then you might have to take a look, look at many days, and see if there is any uh, correlation between these two. So, oh, so I'll, I'll uh, look at the back test. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Okay. So, any more uh, tools that you want me to discuss? Any other questions? Anything else? I think uh, that's about it. That's about. It. Okay, that's it from me. Then, if uh, let me just uh, turn off this.